Hi everyone, it's Zara Haji from Yoga Goddess here with you on the first full moon of 2017. I'm so excited to be here with all of you uh, in the Yoga Goddess support circle. Welcome to all of our new members. Um, I'd love for you to let us know as you join your name um, and uh, where you're joining us from. If you have any uh, questions, you can type them in and I'll do my best to answer questions as they're coming in. Um, I'm so glad I figured this out. I had a little bit of a, a technical snafu, but it looks like we're all good to go here. Um, and as people are joining, um, feel free to welcome others and send hearts by tapping on the screen. Um, 2017, it's uh, the new year that we're in. It's also the first year of the next nine-year cycle um, that we'll be in. Uh, so that means from a numerological point of view, um, this is going to be the beginning of our next nine-year cycle. So as you're hopping on, um, say hello. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. Um, send hearts by tapping on the screen and uh, and let us know if you have any uh, feedback for us um, it'd be so nice to to hear from you so in terms of the first full moon of the year um, I think it's a really powerful time to seed our intentions for the year ahead so what does that mean someone asked earlier what are intentions so intentions rather than resolutions are, you can think of them literally like when you plant seeds in your garden, um, you plant the potential of something to grow and manifest. And so, for example, a, a seed that you might be planting this year um, is to feel successful. Uh, maybe it's to feel more at peace. Uh, maybe it's to feel more in tune with your body, uh, your cycles, uh, your feminine energy, your fertility, whatever it is that uh, really speaks to your soul. Uh, the wolf moon is a really powerful uh, idea that it presents to us. And I love the question, what is your soul howling for? Um, the, full, the wolf moon name comes from... Uh, you know, native uh, folklore, the idea being that the wolves were hungry uh, in January and um, you could hear their howl in the winter months because they're hungry. And so what is your soul hungry for right now? And what I love about this idea, and I'm just pulling up some notes, um, is the message that the wolf sends us this month is to not do it alone. So if you think about wolves, they run in packs. And when wolves run in packs, it means that they always have the support of the entire group. And so isn't that a beautiful sentiment for us all who are part of the Yoga Goddess support group? Uh, this is our pack. Um, and as wolves, we are here uh, for each other so that you don't have to go at it alone. Um, and you have the support of uh, this community of women, um, these fellow goddesses, um, and the wolf energy. So as we get started this evening, uh, welcome. It's so lovely to have all of you here. Um, I can see that there's about 10 of you here live and um, I know many will watch later after the live cast is actually over. Um, and so what I want you to have ready with you as we're getting started is a pen and a paper, maybe a candle that you want to uh, light as we're getting started. I have my candles behind me. I don't know if you can see them or not. And really... The idea behind um, setting intentions is to start the year off in, in, a, in a way that really is focused on compassion. 
because resolutions often feel like um, almost like goals that you, if you don't achieve, then somehow you failed. And so that is not the kind of energy we want to set up the year with. Rather, we want to start planting our seeds. And the reason we want to plant seeds at the time of the full moon is we're actually mimicking the natural cycle of fertility. Um, you know, from a, from a natural earth perspective, the earth is most fertile at the time of the full moon. So there are farming practices, for example, in Europe called biodynamic farming because crops are most abundant after they're planted in the full moon. So this is a, a really powerful opportunity for us to really consider how, what kind of intentions do you want to set this year ahead, 2017? What do you want to manifest? And I, I like to think of uh, intentions as like themes. So if you were to choose, you know, one theme or two themes, themes, but probably no more than three themes for your year. So I want to invite you now to start to get quiet and go inward uh, because we, we are here to meditate together and really to reach inside of ourselves for the answers. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to type them in um, as we're uh, getting going and towards the end, uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions. So let's get started. Um, and please provide feedback as we're going. And if you are having any um, technical difficulties, you can let us know too. All right, so um, it looks like I might be missing comments because it says there's 10 comments so far, but I can't see your comments. I'm sorry. Oh, well, they don't show me here. Okay, um, let me see. I'll try one more time. No. All right. So let's get started to go inward now. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and just start to take a couple of centering breaths. And as you center yourself and breathe, Bring your awareness to your heart. And just connect deeply with your own heart, the center of your being. Imagine it like a radiant crystal or a diamond, shimmering with light. And imagine that this light is radiating in all directions, nine feet in front of you, nine feet behind you, nine feet to the left, nine feet to the right. Imagine that from your heart, you're sending beams of light forwards, backwards, to the left, to the right, and encircling you. So a big circle of light now. So sending the light up from your heart and down, connecting all the points and feeling yourself encircled in this bubble of radiant light. This is your energy field, your aura. You can think of it as your own full moon radiance. Just breathe into it now.
And as you take a moment now and reconnect with the center of your being, your heart, maybe you can put one hand on your heart, the other hand on your belly. Feel this flow of energy between your heart and your womb. Ask your heart now, what are you hungry for? What is my heart longing for? What is my soul howling for? Take a moment to really listen. Maybe they're emotional words, feeling senses, images, whatever comes, let it come and be in a quiet, receptive space to receive. If you want to take a moment and journal your answers, you can write them down. If you prefer to stay in words and just keep connecting, you can do that. And continue asking yourself from your heart, from your womb, your, which is the feminine home of your soul. the home of your feminine soul. What are you hungry for to manifest in 2017? And once you have one concrete answer, start to imagine how it would feel what qualities, emotions would you embody if this creation came to be? Would you feel happy? Would you feel peaceful? Would you feel abundant? Would you feel powerful? Would you feel seen? Consider how you would feel if this manifestation, the seed of your desire that you're planting right now, came into full blossom. How would that make you feel? Again, you can stay inward in this meditative place or you can write your answers. whatever feels most connecting for you. Imagining, seeing, feeling this new reality. Step into it. Imagine yourself actually walking into this new life and embodying it fully. Whatever it is, maybe it's your career, maybe it's motherhood, maybe it's completion and starting a new phase of your life. Imagine yourself stepping into this new you and look around. Notice what it feels like. Breathe into it.
Feel yourself energetically expanding your whole being into this embodiment, into this feeling, like you're putting on a new outfit. Imagine that you're putting on the energy of this new part of you that you are giving birth to in 2017. Feel yourself slipping into that energy now. And now take a deep breath in. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Hold the breath and center yourself in your heart. And as you exhale, imagine this energy, this seed of potential moving from your heart down this channel of connection into your womb space and feel the seed, this intention, planting itself in the cozy, warm cavern of your womb space the birthing place of new life within you. Feel, see, sense the seed embedding into the rich walls of your wombs, cushion, the cushiony walls of your womb. And imagine like the soil, rich and moist, it's taking your intentions in and holding them just like the earth does, the seeds that are planted within it. Knowing that your intentions are safe, they are being cared for, they are being held by the Great Mother. See, sense, feel your own connection to the earth now. Sending the seedling right down now through your own legs into the earth. Connecting you and anchoring you with the Earth Mother the great mother womb for us all. And then feel this energy rise up within you through your arms and up over your head, encircling you, reaching up to reach a full moon in the sky and feel yourself being bathed in the light of the full wolf moon. And if you like, you can howl, you can holler, you can exclaim quietly or silently or out loud, whatever it is that this is your new reality. and then slowly come back. And I'm so sad I can't see your comments. I'm gonna try again. Yeah, for some reason it's not showing them to me. So I'm just gonna um, double check the time. It's almost at the end of our um, full moon meditation. So what I'm gonna do is ask my team 
that if there's any uh, questions here for me, uh, if you could send them to me over Slack, then I'll check there um, because for some reason I can't see your questions here, but I will be able to see them later. Um, and if you have any comments, feel free to add them as well. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the full moon, mm -hmm. the, full, the first full moon of the year, makes it such an important time to really reflect on what, how do you want to um, emerge at the end of this 2017? Um, 17, 8, uh, if you add 1 plus 7, it turns into 8, being the most abundant number in numerology. It's the power number of healing, uh, abundance, money, um, and success, essentially. So if that is one of your intentions that you're planting, um, then, uh, you know, you're right in line with the energy of 2017. Um, and making it uh, an intentional year really helps you to feel, um, in a way, a sense of connection, connectivity to what it is that how you want to kind of um, emerge, like I said, at the end of the year. That outfit um, that I guided you through in the meditation, what is it that you want to be wearing um, as you, you know, who are you embodying? What is this new energy? Uh, how do you want to be seen? How do you want to feel? Um, and if it's motherhood, because so many of um, our yoga goddess community are women who um, are really nurturing themselves uh, and their fertility to become mothers. What does that feel like? What does that look like? How would you move in the world? Um, how do you show up differently? So it's a really um, important sort of time to reflect on the seeds that you're sowing for this year. What would it actually feel like for them to come into full blossom and who would you be? Um, how would you move in this world? So thank you again for sharing the, the full moon energy, the full wolf moon energy with me. Um, I'll be checking on the page for your comments and your questions um, a little bit later and I just want to also put out there quickly that if you're not uh, receiving my emails to please do get on the email list. Um, it's, it's a really great way for us to stay in touch. Um, and I also want to share a, uh, a new program called Moon Charting Mastery with you. And um, we have a special offer for everyone on the live cast, uh, which basically Moon Charting Mastery teaches you your personal connection with your menstrual cycle and the lunar phases and how to use that information so that you can essentially navigate your life with a tool that tells you exactly when your energy is at its peak in the month, when you need to take time off, when you're most fertile, um, when to nurture your relationships, when to take time for yourself. Um, it's a really powerful tool to really understand the messages of your menstrual cycle and the messages of your body, that your body's t always trying to communicate with you. And your cycle really holds um, really powerful feminine energy um, and information for all of us as women. Uh, it really gives you access to a knowing of yourself that uh, is really easy to connect to once you know how to use that information. And if you have a red moon cycle, which means you're menstruating with the full moon, um, or you have a white moon cycle, which means you're ovulating with the full moon. These are all really important pieces of information to understand more about who you are as a woman, um, basically what energy you're moving with in this life. Um, you know, are you moving in the mother energy or are you moving in the uh, healer archetype energy. I talk about that in the red moon, white moon blog post that a lot of you have read. Um, and if you're trying to move in 
uh, to motherhood? You know, how do you move into that embodiment? Um, so all of this is information that I'd love to share with you deeper. Um, so if you're not on the email list, uh, I invite you to join the website's yogagoddess.ca and you can subscribe um, right on the website. Um, and we'll add the link for the Moon Charting Mastery in the, the chat below for you. So have a really wonderful full moon. I hope you've enjoyed the meditation. Um, and we'll see you next month for the full snow moon just before Valentine's Day on February 10th. So you can mark your calendar now. Take care and bye for now.